Now, another thing that can be very important when you're working with your Word documents is setting the document properties. And the reason why these become important is as your file system grows and grows, or maybe you're storing documents out on a centralized server somewhere, finding those documents can sometimes become a challenge. You might not have to, might not have some kind of Library of Congress like uh, naming convention to use. You need to find that needle in a haystack, and document properties can be the answer for just that very task. The way you do this is you go to the Office button and you click on prepare or you just hover the mouse over prepare and then choose this selection here properties view and edit the document properties such as title author and keywords so once you give that a click you see this little section come up called document properties now the author should be pre-populated again why is that author field pre-populated it is because if you look at your word options a popular section here your username that should it would take that information and populate it into the author uh, entry box right there. Now the other entry boxes are fairly self-explanatory here but you may be surprised to see that just because the document has a title when you saved it doesn't necessarily get saved with the document properties itself. In other words the metadata of the document. Metadata being information about the file not the information that's in the file. This is the information that's in the file, the text. The information about the file is the author, the category. So if I give this thing a category and call it training, what is significant here is that this metadata training is indexed. And if you're using Vista, this is especially important. If you're using XP, I'm still talking to you if you're running the desktop search engine. And if you don't know whether or not you are, if you have downloaded the um, Windows Live toolbar, you are. You are running the desktop uh, search engine or the desktop in indexing engine. What it does is it just catalogs really everything that's on your hard drive so that it makes it very, very easy to find later on. So when you're done, you can close it. You also have a section where there are advanced properties. It brings up a dialog box where you can add your own custom fields checked by and then here's the value checked by Brian so if you want to find documents that have been checked by a certain maybe content approver you can add that but again that's not really that important that's that's really up to you and your particular use of word but for now what's important is that you know how to set the document properties if you need to if you're using Vista you can also do this through Windows Explorer but again I'm not really here to show you about Vista necessarily because lots of people have XP and are using Office 2007 but rather to show you how to set the document properties from within the document itself